Well, Rick keeps telling me that he wants a really big steak. So, do you think this is a big enough steak? <laughs> this is a ribeye cowboy cut. It's about two inches thick and it weighs about three pounds. So, I thought we would cook this today in the sous vide cooker and then finish it off on the grill later in the day. So, I think this will be great. Well, I'm going to go to work now. Rick's going to season it up and put it in the sous vide so that it's cooking for about six hours. And then when I get home from work, we'll take it out and we'll sear it on the grill. All right, I'll be back later. Okay, it's time to start cooking this big beef ribeye cowboy steak. Wow, I never saw a steak that big. Maybe you did. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a bag about a little bit longer than this to seal it in with my vacuum sealer. Cut it longer so I can let part of it hang out of the bin so I can keep the meat off the bottom of the bin and let the water circulate under there. First I want to seal this end and then put the steak in there. That's a big steak. Let's just seal this part right here. Or seal. Okay. That's sealed good. See that? Open this big piece of meat. Wow. I think she'll notice if I cook it right now. <laughs> I'm going to season both sides of this with salt and pepper. Garlic powder. And if you like something else, you could add it. Oh, she wanted me to add this sprig of thyme. If I have time. A couple sprigs on each side. I'll do that when I get it in the bag. Let me turn this over. Salt and pepper. Mmm. Garlic powder. Woo! Oh. Let me put it in the bag. Let me forget the time. I got time for that. Get your time. Father time. See that? A couple of that. That'll probably be good. Looks good. Smells good. Mm. And seal it up. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, you can use a good Ziploc bag. some of that vacuum as the meat cooks because it'll shrink up a little and move around a little bit. Still going to be good. Here's our bin. Full of water for the sous vide. We're going to set this for 
145 degrees on top here. Chicken. Let's see. Steak. There's a. Let me turn off the light so you can see it. It's a steak, see it? 145 I want, so what's it set for? Let's see. 132. 145, it's already set for six hours. There you go. See that? Just let it go and it'll start. See it? Okay, six hours at 145. And the timer won't start counting it down until it comes up to the temperature. You see why I put a little extra bag on here? Because I want to be able to keep it elevated and keep it off of the bottom or the sides as much as possible. I'm going to arrange the bone in there the right way. There you go. There we go. Nice. You use a little clip to hold it up too if you want. And I'm going to use the lid because that will help. See? I'll keep it up off the bottom. Keep it covered too. Okay. My job is done. All I gotta do now is next is eat it. Time to take a nap. I get to watch this though. Six hours. Alright, she'll be back later. Can't wait. Hi guys, I'm home from work now. Rick's been cooking this in the sous vide all day long and it's still at 145 degrees holding and I'm going to open it up and get ready to sear it on the grill. Come and look at it. All right. Now I turned this off but I'm just going to remove the meat right now and take a look how all the juices stayed in the bag. We could use that for gravy if we want to make gravy, but I'm just going to pull the meat out for now. We'll save the meat juices for something else. And Alright, that's a nice piece of meat. Now I'm just going to remove the um, herbs here. This is the thyme. And I don't want it to start falling apart before I get it to sear, but it looks very tender. I'm just going to pat this dry a little bit so I can add some more rub. Now I know Rick used the garlic and salt and pepper I'm going to add a little bit of the squirrel mates roasted garlic and herb. It's along the same lines, but it'll give it a little bit of extra zip. Press it in a little bit. And we're going to season the other side too. All right, we're warming up the grill, so let's go out there and uh, lay this on and get some nice grill marks. Now we have the grill preheated on medium. It's all ready to go. I'm just going to lay this on. You can hear the sizzle. We'll grill a little bit here, and we'll turn it. And we'll turn it in a few minutes. We're going to take this and make the cross hatch here. Go the other way for a few minutes. It won't take long at this temperature. Let's flip it over. See how nice and sizzly that is on the outside? You can't get that look coming right out of the sous vide cooker, but you can finish it off real quickly 
on the grill or broiler. Is Rick getting hungry? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> you gonna eat some? I'm gonna taste it. Now the one nice thing about using the sous vide, we already know what the internal temperature is. We don't need to poke a hole in and let the juices run out because we've been cooking it at 145 degrees all day long. So that's no question about it, what it's like inside. Perfect. Just gonna do one more, put some more X marks on there for a couple more minutes. All right, let's check it out. All right, I think that's exactly what we want here. So we're gonna shut it off. All right, let's get it off the grill. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's go feed the hungry man. Mine? It's all yours. <laughs> Should I taste it? Absolutely. Let's we'll see what it looks like inside. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? Mm hmm. Didn't you make one for yourself? No. <laughs> no. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. That's a big piece of meat, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Juicy. It's good flavor. Because of the way I put it in the sous vide. <laughs> Yeah, I want to try it. Uh, I just want to try it. You want to try it now or you want to wait? Give me a taste. Here's my fork. Thank you. Mmm. 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 That is good. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, you can eat the rest of your supper with it now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, thanks right. for watching our meat-making video here today. Meat-eating. <laughs> we wanted to try one like this um, ribeye. I like to just hold it by the handle and eat it. Yeah, it looks like a Fred Flintstone style, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we wanted to try it in the sous vide and put a nice finish on it with the grill. So uh, Rick's going to enjoy his dinner now. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. See you. Mm -hmm.